Hey everybody, International Master Danny Wrench looking for an opponent fishing after my match with Mark Esserman. Let's see if we can get somebody to accept this little rematch. All right, well, we're moving up the ladder, aren't we, right? Grandmaster Robert Hess, the legend himself, and this is a bullet brawl. We've got some one-minute chess about to be played with the increment today. That's right. Nothing like it. And uh, we're going to take on C3. With some kind of piece. I think we're actually just fine with giving up this exchange if he wants to take it. Be our guest. Beauty and the Beast style. This is a horrible position for black. There must be some sort of checkmate at hand at some point. I think we should just go push G4 and bring the heat. If he takes on C3, we'll probably just take back with the pawn at this point. No reason to uh, to do anything else. Let's see, can I not trap his queen now? I'm not sure, I think I am. Not quite, I guess. He could have actually played queen h6, but uh, chose not to. That's all right. We still have a pretty darn good position here with uh, two pieces for the rook. Let's see if we can play fast enough to pull it off. Don't forget we have increment, Danny. A little bit more time to play some quality chess moves. And that's, uh, that's all part of the plan right now. Now that would be bad. Hmm. Let's play g5. Let's see how he... How he wants to approach this position. Yeah, I thought he might play there. And for a second I thought I would play knight f4, but he has this move d4 check. So I have to be rather careful, actually. So uh, what to do? The check that's constantly being threatened here is kind of irritating. I think I'm going to play rook up, mainly so I can play knight f4. Something like this. And then maybe I can give this check on b5 and then take on g6 and have the g-pawn running up the board. This is the idea. This is the bright idea that we have in mind. I'm not even sure it's that great, actually. The g-pawn isn't the strongest pawn in the world, but... Combine that with the h-file, and I'm probably in okay shape. I think I can play here and then give check, right? Yeah. Ah, he has a draw, huh? Well, that's irritating. Do I not have this check? And then when he moves, give another check. Check, up, check, takes. Check, takes, takes. Mm, I don't think I have anything. I think we'll... Uh, We'll take the draw. Well, that's kind of irritating, but at least I don't lose rating points. So let's go ahead and rematch it and let this bullet brawl continue. Too bad I wasn't able to pull that one off, huh? Not exactly sure right now where the train ran off the tracks, but... Let's try to play some high-quality chess once again. And uh, if we can, we'll keep this match close. So we'd, uh, we'd like to play this move. We'd like to play this move g5. But not enough. So let's develop her first. Develop the pieces first. That's what I think. We'll take, bring back the knight, shake and bake. I'd still like to play this move g4. G5, excuse me, but I still don't see enough to justify this. Though now he can't put his knight on H5, and if he puts it on E2, I would have uh, taken him one upon. So it's interesting. Okay, well, he's going to win B7, though I'm not sure I totally care. So we'll see now. Ah, he says he wants to uh, sack the exchange, huh? Well, I guess we'll go for it. I guess we shall. Ah, some real some real tricky business going on now. If I had taken, he takes with check, and I'm actually mated 
via the bishops. So that would have been quite bad. Aha. Okay, but I can play this way. We'll uh we'll go after the fork on d3. Oh no, I missed the bishop is guarding d3. Well that's killer. That's bad. I will now be in a lost ending for sure. Ugh. And that made that made matters worse, didn't it? Especially with the increment, probably time to just call this one quits. But I'm not going to just yet. Not just yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, a tough one. Wasn't a bad start, actually, but some bad moves after that. Story of my life. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and call it a day. Well, that was tough. That was a tough one, right? So let's go. Buckle up, everybody. Don't go anywhere. All right. I know it hasn't been super exciting yet. Probably I've been all serious because I'm playing my GM opponent. I just need to start joking around and everything will be fine, right? Yeah, Danny, just start acting like an idiot and everything will be fine, right? They got nowhere else to go, right? They're like, uh, they're like a former Sam Smith world lover, right? At Sam Smith on Twitter. Follow him, the new, the new Michael Buble and Justin Timberlake had a baby. There you go. There's a little, uh, there's a little call out for you. Plum never, uh, why are you searching for bad videos when mine is the heart and the soul that is yours, right? I can play chess as fast as I can. I think I play chess like I can, 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 can. I just love, like, saying they can't play chess like I can. You know, turning, uh... Turning Sam Smith songs into my own. That was really horrible. I don't know what happened there. Mind is a heart and a soul that is yours. This position's horrible for him, though. I'm about to, I'm about to rock his world, country girl style. Is that for real right now? That phone right there. That was horrendous. Well, this just looks delicious. If I take, he takes, I take. I guess I can do all that. But I can also just castle. If castles, takes, takes, he plays there. Yeah, just castle. Well, maybe bishop h6 was actually even the best. Even better than that, but too late right now. I'm expecting e5. Ah, no, he doesn't want e5. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and play bishop h6 anyway. Yeah, we'll take with the queen, surprising him. He forgets that we can do this. And he's going to find himself in big trouble, courtesy of Michael Buble. Yeah, this is, a, this is a tough position for him. Oop, don't blunder your queen. Ah, but he missed it. Or did he? I don't want to blunder the exchange right back. Just take this way. Hmm. Play this way? Sure, why not? Can he do that? That was weird of him. I was going to say, that's blundering a rook. And we're pushing this thing further. It's a 1-1 bullet brawl. You get higher quality chess here. I'm excited just the fact that I'm not, you know, blundering pieces. Something started to click a little bit. No longer uh, playing the worst bullet chess you've ever seen every week in and week out. Still singing Sam Smith. Still bringing the heat. 
still playing the bullet brawl where the sun don't sleep. Am I right? Big Willie Styles all in it. Nah, nah. Getting jiggy with it. Y'all know what I mean. It's Big Willie Style, and I'm being so mean, and y'all know it. And y'all... No, I'm kidding. Now I'm making fun of rap. Though I do respect it as an urban art form. Though I do respect it, yeah. Quite really as an urban art form. What's going on here? I'll take it. And I'll bake it. I'll shake it. Liking it. Loving it. Doing it. Rocking it. What's going on here? Oh, I thought I was playing this, yeah? I'm not. Well, that wasn't very fun, now, was it? Not really. Hmm. I think that was a bad move by him, actually. Ah, well, he recognized that it was a bad move. And he fixed his mistake. I would love to play knight g7, but that would be a bad move on my part. So let's see here. Let's prevent him from doubling rooks, at least. Prevention, Holmes. That's prevention, kids. Expect him to take it. Expect him to do exactly that. Now hope to get your knight back into play. Hmm. But it really is just not easy. Go after the e-pawn. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. That's not good. That is not good. The knight on the rim surely is grim. The knight on the rim surely is grim. His chances, indeed, are truly very slim. He's going to play g4, and I'm going to resign. Yep. All right. Well, we're pushing this. Got to win this game, or my opponent takes the best out of five. If I want to push it to the limit, I have to be willing to win it. Let's do this, Grandmaster Robert Hess. You are going down. Really, right? He likes it. This position is probably so bad for him. Let's see, Bishop. I want to play Queen G4. That's what I. That's what I really, really want. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you what I want. What I really, really want. Yo, tell me what you want. What you really, really want? I said I'll tell you. Fine. What I want. What I really, really want. Uh, yeah. Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. I wanna. I wanna. Huh, I wanna hit. I wanna. Huh, I wanna hit. I wanna really, really, really want to take a uh, You know what I mean? That was weird. It's probably the English. Uh, losing in the first round of the World Cup. That's got me reminiscing about a time when the Spice Girls were famous, you know, considering that England always loses in the first round of the World Cup. It's not that big of a surprise. All right, I can take and then I can bake. But I can also play shake. It is what you make of it. Give me the Kevin thread, yeah? Because I want it. I want all of it. I would like to take this. Okay, well, this is a horrible position for him. Definitely losing. But we've got to play real, yeah? We've got to keep it real. If we like to be real. It's all about keeping it real, yeah? Pushing it to the limit, yeah? Alright, well, this is just so... So wretched. I almost want to find some sort of brilliant tactic and just end, end the suffering. End my opponent's suffering. I'm just going to bring back this pony, put it on F6, where things are going to get real weird for him. Ah, he has some sort of trick he likes. Oh, I actually forgot about this move, knight h4. I was expecting bishop to c6, and then I saw d5. So if knight h4, ooh, wait, he does it anyway? That was bad. That was bad for him. It sure was. He sure is losing now. Hmm, 
really. If I take, all right, fine. Man, not good. Really, really lost the thread on this one, huh? It's still not super easy for him, but... Hmm. Oh, darn it. Well, that was silly. Looks like my opponent will be getting the best of five here. Wow. Well, that went from completely winning to a bunch of a bucket load of nothingness. I mean, even I think the Rook in the Knight position is winning. But what should I do here? Maybe I should just forget about it, you know? Forget about it. I mean, okay, I think this was okay. But maybe not. Maybe this whole position is just kind of a mess. Okay, so Rook to... He's threatening this check, so Rook F4 was, was a strong move. And here's where it started to kind of come undone. Wasn't quite able to keep the thread there. So let's see, perhaps some activity, something like rook g1, and if takes, check, king up, check on f6, the king can hide. I'm actually still in a tricky position. It's not so surprising that his queen was actually good here against my rook and knight, honestly, because when you're evaluating these types of unbalanced material factors, there are some points to keep in mind. Who is the more open king and who has more pawn weaknesses? In this case, both of those factors favor black. So despite the material advantage that the rook and knight have, but after being up a pawn out of the opening and completely winning, I mean, I guess here's where I really let it come undone, just underestimating the threats. You know, something as simple as g3 just ends all discussion. And white is still up a pawn. Knight h4 does nothing. And even bishop c6, I can still just unpin the knight and work my way in. So, too bad. A very clear advantage, a uh, very good match against the uh, Grandmaster here today, but not enough to get the victory. Hope everybody has enjoyed the show. Hope my Sam Smith World reference gets me in a little bit of trouble. And I uh, hope you're all feeling good. See you around on chess.com.